Sky Dude Bro was walking down the sidewalk, his cape flowing elegantly in the breeze. It was a nice, beautiful day out. The sun was shining and the world was at peace. But as he walked, something strange caught his eye. Over behind a berry bush, he saw some rustling and some flames spew out occasionally. Curious as to what it was, he made his way over to the bush. Just as he was about to look behind the bush, a winged dinosaur jumped out, fire spitting from its sharp jaws. Guy fell back in shock, trying to comprehend what had happened. He needed to defend himself, but with what? Suddenly, he felt something appear in his hand. A sword as long as his arm had materialized from nowhere. It must have been his lucky day. Grabbing the sword by the blade, Dude Bro proceeded to jab at the dinosaur while managing to dodge the flames. But with each attack, the dinosaur seemed to be unaffected. The dino was impervious to such basic attacks. Wanting to leave the crazy world he was experiencing, he tore open the comic page and leapt out into the real world. It confused him how everything was 3D, but he got used to it pretty quickly. But just as he let out a sigh of relief, the dinosaur flew out after him, following Guy everywhere he went. Guy got tired of running and stopped to take a breather. A dino caught up and made his true intentions known. He just wanted to be friends with Dude Bro. Though he thought it was nice, Guy turned down the offer due to the recent events that had taken place. Back in the comic realm, lead scientist Dr. Winterbottom had finally succeeded in creating a powerful creature to combat the dinosaur and rule the world. He poured a special serum on his pet giraffe and watched as the giraffe gained powers like no other. When the process was complete, he was sent to destroy the dino. When the giraffe arrived at the scene, he immediately shot lightning out of his horns. The lightning hit the dino, shocking him beyond comprehension and killing him. Guy was devastated. All the dino wanted to do was be his friend, and now he was gone forever. Rising up to combat the giraffe, he was shocked too. The lightning didn't kill him immediately, but it paralyzed him from the neck down. With no defenses left, he closed his eyes and waited for the worst. Then he heard a strange noise. Opening his eyes, he saw a bright flash where a rubber butterfly appeared. The butterfly challenged a giraffe to a duel. Accepting, the giraffe aimed its horns to the butterfly and zapped it with the most powerful lightning. But since the butterfly was made out of rubber, the attack was extremely ineffective. With one swift motion, the butterfly swatted the giraffe, blowing it back into the comic. Guy Dubro gave the butterfly a high five and proceeded on with his day.